Happy Monday guys, it is currently gym o'clock, which means we are going to be doing a glute and quad day because typically my Mondays are my glute and quad days because it's the heaviest day of the week. So before I even start this video and this workout session, I wanted to go ahead and jump in here and tell you guys that you need to follow this workout for more than four to six weeks or at least four to six weeks if you want to see results. Do not watch this video, do it for one leg session and the next leg session you're going to a different YouTube video and you're watching and doing a another leg day because you guys you need to stay consistent with your progressive overloads and sticking to the movements that you are doing week to week to week because that's how you build your muscles is by breaking them down each week repeatedly so if you're gonna go ahead and watch this video I need you to save it come back to it every single leg day for at least four weeks and if you want to go jump to somebody else's after that do that but don't do yourself a disservice and not get results and constantly go in this yo-yo vicious cycle of saying that your body isn't worthy of change because it is you're just not doing things the right way so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into this intense glute and quad day you guys your butt is gonna be on fire your quads are gonna be glorious if you guys stay consistent with this and it feels bloody amazing so let's go ahead and get in to the workout all right guys so to first start off we're starting off with some generic dynamic stretches i like to call these froggers they're really going to open up your hip flexors so you can squat deeper without having any hip pingements any hip problems i've noticed a significant difference after doing hip flexors hip openers before my workout i used to do a lot of glute band work but on my heavy leg days i no longer do band work before activation i only do that on my actual glute focus day and then over here for this movement we're really just opening up that spine working that spine moving the spine a little bit before we get into things such as deadlifts squats for me i like to focus my dynamic stretches around the muscle group that i am training but the spine does fall into the category of your lower body as well we're stretching our hamstrings a little bit of our quads but as you guys can see we're not staying in the movement for more than a second at a time because that would fall under the category of static stretches which we do after our workout as a cool down and then over here, we're just going ahead and really warming up the muscle that we're going to be working. We're doing some vertical leg swings, and these are really good for just really warming up your muscles and getting your body worked for the working sets. And then we're going to do some horizontal leg swings as well. I love, love, love doing dynamic stretches before my workout. Like I said, I was doing glute activation. I just noticed all my energy was gone and depleted when I was actually getting into my actual workout. So I no longer do these glute activation exercises on my lower heavy days only on my glute days and then here we're doing some hip openers standing hip openers i love these they are so freaking good they feel so good and honestly they kind of feel like a little workout in themselves but i've noticed doing these little things have made a significant difference in the progress that i make with my actual movements and then of course we're gonna go ahead and start off with some foundational squats i'm using a barbell and as you guys can see there you guys want to make sure the bar is on your neck and before it actually comes off those pads you want to make sure you're at a comfortable position so make sure you maneuver the barbell around how you feel comfortable and then i do like to go ahead and slightly flare out my toes that way my knees do not cave in i see a lot of people lifting without proper form and that's why i gave you guys the explanation of i'm starting off with the barbell if you are a beginner do not start with barbell squats you need to really start off with dumbbells get used to dumbbells practice your form after your form is perfect move your way up to easy bars then smith machine then barbells and that's why the guide that i have created the ass on fat waist on flat is designed and catered to make a beginner into an athlete and advanced trainer it really focuses on that progressive overload through form versus just trying to load on the weight and ego lift as you guys can see here i'm going ass to grass which means i'm going very low in the movement i am not going so low to the point where my butt is winking and i see a lot of girls making that mistakes where their butt is winking go low enough where you feel that muscle engagement but don't go to the point where your butt is winking they really do anything for you um but just go low as possible and now this is going to be my second working set i'm doing more pyramid style i'm adding weight each set the first working set that i always do is more of a warm-up working set but as 
as you guys can see i'm really just focusing on that breath work and then when i'm going down this is more of my heavy set but i'm still focusing on that form and yes i'm lightening up the weight so each time i up the weight i'm gonna go lower reps so here i think i did anywhere from six to eight reps for this heavier set for me i have a back injury so i can't go that heavy on squats anymore but that's okay you're still gonna get gains just try to progress in any way possible if you can try to progress just through getting in an extra rep with the same weight each week that's progression you don't have to be lifting up glorious amount of weight to actually progress now here we're going to go ahead and do some barbell lunges with these you really want to go ahead and place all of that weight in your front foot and then your back foot you want it propped up on a flat tippy toe that's what i like to call it and with barbell lunges i absolutely love these because you can actually cater these to your glute or your quad here i'm doing more quad dominant lunges because it is a glute quad day and honestly we're in 2022 and i am trying to have the ass and the quad be beautifully cohesive i no longer want that amp but i want to have nice toned legs but for these if you did want to go ahead and activate more glute stands you could just lean forward with your chest slightly and you'll see a significant difference in the activation of your glutes versus your quads i'm just doing more of a normal straight stance for these and these really are burner also for these, I really like to go ahead and place my knee fully on the floor just for the first rep. So I know I'm getting the full range of motion and the rest of the reps, I just like to hover my knee over the floor. You really want to go ahead and go as low as possible for lunges. Once you are done with your weighted lunge, you're going to drop that weight and this is going to be a super set with the weighted lunges. You're going to drop the weight and do air lunges until failure for each leg. You guys, this super set is literally the reason why this exercise and workout has me not walking properly for the next two days. I highly recommend doing this kind of superset. It really intensifies the workout. I love supersetting a lot of my compound lifts, such as lunges. Try this little combo out and let me know how your walking goes the next day because I promise you, it's going to be brutal. Next up, we have my favorite workout, which is hip thrust. And if you guys are actually using one of these unsturdy benches at the gym, I need you guys to take a heavier dumbbell and put it right behind it so you don't have the moving bench problem. And for the actual hip thrust itself, you're gonna go ahead and keep your spine neutral, your neck tucked. I like to place my feet in a 90 degree angle and I also like to have more of a narrow stance. I know a lot of people like doing a wider stance. You have to find out what works for you. Try every single way out. I see so many people recommending a different stance, but when I tell you everybody's different, I have trained with many girls and every single person says the placement of their feet is completely different when it comes to mind to muscle connection so make sure you're just focusing on trying every single variation out and see what works best for you now this is obviously my warm-up set the fact that i could do that with my arms but right here i wanted to show you guys if you're having a problem and losing your pump in between loading the weights or adding on more weights go ahead and use one of those mini plates and place it under i literally would take about five minutes to reload and my glute activation would be gone try that out and see how it works but yeah so back to the actual form make sure your neck is tucked and when you're coming up do not squeeze or hyper extend your back you want to make sure that your back is neutral and you're keeping that tension in the glutes i will go ahead and show you guys in this next clip as you guys can see my shoulder blades my spine and my glutes are all neutral with one another i'm driving the way up i am not hyper extending and arching my back i'm keeping that tension in my glutes and i'm not squeezing i also like to go ahead and do a little bit of a stretch at the end of each hip thrust because i feel like it really does help you know get the blood flowing going if you guys aren't doing hip thrust i really need you guys to start okay thank you now we're gonna go ahead and get into these compact leg presses guys i love leg presses but the biggest issue i see with a lot of people is that they pack on the weight because they think leg presses are easier than most exercises they are easier if you're not doing them right and you probably can load a lot more on because you're not doing them right what i like to do is keep the weight light and really focus on my time under tension i've noticed such a big improvement in my leg growth once i started focusing on my time under tension with leg presses going back to a glute movement but this time we're going to be doing a isolation glute movement we're going to be doing these machine kickbacks if your gym does not supply this machine don't even worry about it. Do a regular standard cable kickback or a Smith machine kickback. Too many people get confused when they go to the gym if they follow a routine and there's not a machine that they see in the video. Just improvise with something that's doing the same exact movement with a different machine or equipment. You guys do not stress over the little things. Get the job done and that's all that really matters. With these, I like to go ahead and keep my neck and spine neutral. I like to keep the pad as low as possible and I almost like to just kind of 
lean on it versus putting my body on it, which a lot of people do. I prefer it this way. I feel it so much more in my glutes. Last but definitely not least, we have our amazing leg extensions. This is an isolation movement for the quads. As you guys can see, I'm taking that barbell pad and putting it right behind my back to keep my body propped up or my upper torso propped upward versus leaning back. I just feel it better in my quads that way. And the number one thing I, I used to make a mistake with is I would have my knees pushed too far out from the pad where the knees are locked in your knees have to be locked into that pad or the back of your knees have to be locked into that pad to feel your quads being activated so make sure your knees are locked in and as you guys can see here i'm in a lot of pain with leg extensions i always try to do a drop set because our quads can take on a load so what i will do with this is i'll do four sets of my working sets and then the last set i'll drop the weight by half and rep out till failure but you guys that's going to be it for this full quad and glute day i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be doing a lot more gym based workouts because i know you guys have been asking and i'm finally comfortable in the gym but since you guys can't see me you can only see my pain of face i just want to let you guys know that i love you guys always and as always you will go ahead and catch me in my next video you take my Just stuff you know